Hey guys, I'm going to return record the video, the homework again. Blah, blah, blah. Sorry, my brain is right now. <laughs> All right, so I'm on page 811, 812, lesson 2, chapter 11. We are converting customary units of length. So write a customary unit that we use in the United States. The units we use are inches, feet, yards, miles. <clears throat> so the average height of a female giraffe is 15 feet. What is the average height in yards? So I know there are three feet in one yard, so I'm going to convert 15 feet to yards. So since three feet equals one yard, I'm going to divide 15 by three. So three goes into 15, right? Five times three is 15. I subtract, I get zero. So 15 feet is five yards. The average height of a female giraffe is five yards. Pretty tall, huh? Can you imagine being 15 feet tall? Couldn't even get through the door. So we're going to use multiplication to check our answer, right? So if 15 divided by 3 equals 5, then I should have 3 times 5 should be equal to 15 if I did it right. It is. Yes, I checked my answer. All right, our next problem. I have 5 miles and I want to turn it into yards. So right, my miles are my bigger unit and my yards. So I'm going to divide this up. So what I'm going to do, so I want to divide my five miles up into yards, but it's just easier. Um, if I turn my five miles into feet first, right? And then I'm going to divide my feet up into yards. So first thing first, I'm going to take my five miles and figure out how many feet that is. So I know there's 5,280 feet in one mile. So in five miles, right, I could add 5,285 times or I could just multiply times five. Zero times five is zero. 8 times 5 is 40. I put my 0, I carry my 4. 5 times 2 is 10 plus 4 <clears throat> is 14. Carry my 1. 5 times 5 is 25 plus 1 is 26. So I have 2,640 feet in a mile. I probably could write in my book, they also told me how many yards, so I could have just divided by that, but We'll do it this way. Anyway, all right, so I have 2,600, feet. And I'm going to divide this up by three feet in each yard. So three goes into two, no, three goes into 26. Yes, right, eight times, because eight times three is 24. I subtract, I get two. I'm going to bring down my next number. It's a four. Oh, I just did that. How many times? 8 times 3 is 24. 8 times 3, so I'm going to put an 8 again. 8 times 3 is 24. I would subtract, I get 0. I could keep dividing and going 0, 0, but I have these zeros left over. Instead of doing that, I'm just going to bring them up here. So I know there's 8,800 yards in 5 miles. All right, so now I have 7 yards, and I want to figure out how many inches. Right, I could do this a couple different ways if I don't remember how many inches there are in a yard. There's 36, right, because there's 12 plus 12 plus 12, because there's 3 feet in a yard, and there's 12 inches in a foot. So I'm going to take my 7, and I'm going to figure out how many feet this is first. So 7 yards in 3 feet in each yard is going to give me 21. I have 21 feet. Instead of 7 yards, now I'm going to tip 21 feet. At my 21 feet, I'm going to multiply it times 12 inches in each foot, right? If I have 12 feet, I could just keep adding 12 plus 12 plus 12 plus 12 or multiply. So 1 times 2 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. I'm going to put a 0 to hold my place here. Sorry, I'm writing small so I can fit it in this space so I don't write into my bottom problem. I always do that. All right, so now 1 times 1 is 1. 2 times 1 is 2. Oops, I'll add them together. I use 2 plus 0 is 2. 4 plus 1 is 5. 2. So my final answer is 252 inches.
I'm going to do my work up here for this problem so I don't go into this problem down here. So I have 150 inches. I need to break it up and figure out how many yards this is. So I'm going to have my, I'll do 150 inches. I'm going to divide it up by 12 to figure out how many feet. I could have also divided it by 36, but I'm going to do two steps. So 12 goes into 1, no, 12 goes into 15. Yes. One time. 1 times 12 is 12. I subtract, I have 3, I bring down my next number, it is a 0, so I have to figure out how many 12s there are in 30, right, 2 12s would be 24, 3 12s would be 36, too big, so I'm going to say 2, <clears throat> and now I'm going to have 2 times 2 is 4, and 2 times 1 is 2, I will subtract I'll borrow from my 3, turn it into 2. 10 take away 4 is 6. So now I have 12 points and I have a 6. And I'm, I'm going to turn this into a decimal place. I could turn it into a fraction also. Uh, we'll turn it into a decimal place. So I'm going to put a decimal after the 150. Bring it up here, right? I don't forget to put it in my answer. I'll add a zero after decimal place. I can add as many zeros as I want. I'll bring down the zero. And I know 12 times 5 is 60, right? I remember this beautiful thing we have. It helps me memorize 12 times, right? I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and if I count by fives, there's 60 minutes in an hour, right? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Alright, still going. Sorry, I got a phone call, so I paused. Alright, so, <clears throat> I guess I should. Oh, yes, I know. Alright, so, we had 12, and I brought, and I had 6, I subtracted, I got 6, and I brought down my 0, and now I have to figure out how many 12s there are in 60, and that's why I drew my clock, right? There's 5 minutes, I count by 5s to get to 60 on my clock, so I'm going to go 5, 5 times 12 is 60, I would subtract at 0, so I know my, I'm going to have 12.5 feet. Right, but my feet, I have to divide it up by yards because there's three feet in each yard. So I'm going to take my 12.5 feet and I'm going to divide it by three. So 12 goes into three. 12 will not go in, or sorry, three will not go into one, right? Three will go into 12 four times because four times three is 12. I subtract, I get zero. I bring down my next number, it's a five. I need to bring up my decimal place. It's gonna go in my answer right here. So I'm gonna bring down my five. Can three go into five? Yes, one time. One times three is three. I will subtract, I'll get a two. I'm gonna add another des another place here, right? It'll be a zero. I just can keep adding as many zeros as I need. I will bring it down. Can 3 go into 20? Yes, not 7 times, right? It, it's going to go 6 times, because 7 times 3 is 21, too big, so it'll go 6 times. I'm going to say 6 times 3 is 18. I'll subtract, I'll get 2. I'll add another 0, bring it down. Hopefully you can see what's going to happen, right? I'll go 6. 6 times 3 is 18. I'll subtract, get 2. And I keep going forever and ever. So instead of going forever and ever, I'm just going to draw a line over the 6. Not over the 1. The 1 doesn't repeat. The 6 will re keep repeating. So my final answer is going to be 4.16 yards. Right down here, I'm dividing it up into feet and inches. So I don't need my points. I'm going to need a remainder. 110 inches. I'm going to divide it up by 12 because there's 12 inches in one foot. So will 12 go into 1? No. Will 12 go into 11? No. Will 12 go into 120? Yes. Right, I'm thinking of my 12 tables. I know 12 times 9 is 108. So I'm going to, that's close enough, right? So 9. 9 times 2 is 18. Carry my 1. 9 times 1 is 9 plus 1 is 10. I will subtract. I can't take away. Um, 8 from 0, I'll borrow. That turns that into a 0, and I have 10. I'll bring down, I'll subtract, I get 2. 
and I'm going to leave this two alone. It's my, I have left over two inches. I divide up, I had nine feet would be 108 inches plus an extra two inches gives me, right, 108 inches plus two inches is 110 inches. So I know I'm going to have nine feet and two inches. I need some wide out. All right, sorry, eight yards is going to be how many inches? So first I'll figure out feet. Eight times three is gonna tell me how many feet I have, right? Eight times three is 24, I have 24 feet. And how many feet, inches are in 24 feet? Well, I'll multiply by 12, because there's 12 inches in one foot. So I'm gonna have four times two is eight, and two times two is four. So I multiplied the numbers in the ones place, now I'm going to multiply the numbers in the tens place. I'm going to put a zero in my ones place so I know not to put any numbers in there. Now I'm going to go four times one is four, and two times one is two. I add these together, I have 288 inches in eight yards. Now I have 13,200 feet, and I want to know how many miles that is. So I'm going to have my 13,200 feet, and I'm going to divide it up by 5,280, because that's how many feet there are in one mile. Sorry, my phone's there. All right, so I know 5,000, about 5,000, right? This is where I'm using my estimates. 5,000 into 13,000. I know 5,000 5, plus 5,000 will be 10,000, right? 5,000 plus 5,000 plus 5,000 would be 15,000, too big. So I'm going to say two times. So I'm going to say 2 times 0 is 0, 2 times 8 is 16, carry my 1, 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1 is 5, and 2 times 5 is 10. I will subtract, 0 take away with 0 is 0. I can't take away 6 from 0, so I'm going to borrow and turn that into a 10. Now this is a 1. 10 take away 6 is 4. I cannot, now I need 5, take it away from the 1, I can't do it, so I'll borrow from this 3, turn my 3 into a 2, now I have 11, 11 take away 5 is 6, and 2 take away 0 is 2, so I have 2,640, right, it's smaller than 5,200, but I'm not going to just leave it like this, I'm going to make a decimal place, because it's not asking me for how many miles and feet, it just wants miles, so I need to say 2 point something miles, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a decimal place and a zero and bring down my next zero. I'm going to bring my decimal place up here to my answer, to my quotient is the answer to a division problem. And hopefully you remember over here, right, 2,640, right, 5,280 times 5 is 2,640. So I'm going to just use my 5 right now and see if that works. 5 times 0 is 0. 5 times 8 is 40. Carry my 4. I'll turn my 1 into a 4. 5 times 2 is 10 plus 4 is 14. Carry my 1. 5 times 5 is 25 plus 1 is 26. I subtract, I get 0. Final answer is 2.5 me, yes, miles. <clears throat> On the back, fill in the correct circle that corresponds to the best answer. Did you know if I get mail in the mailbox, I also call it correspondence. It's when I answer something. So this one, it means it's fitting together here. Which of the following is not a common unit of measurement, it should, or is not a unit of measurement for the customary system in the United States, right? And other customs have different systems, and, that might, and it's common for them. But for us, it's not really common to use meters. Right, we use feet, we use inches, we use miles. We don't use meters as much. Sometimes we do. Which operation is necessary to convert a smaller unit to a larger unit? Right, so if I have smaller, I want to get it, I want to get it, and I want to turn it into a larger one. I'm going to take the smaller ones and divide them up by my larger number. Right, if I have 48 inches and I want to know how many feet that is, I'm going from smaller to larger, feet or bigger, I'll divide it by 12. And I'll say there are 4 feet, because 4 times 12 is 48. 
All right, Ty, here's Ty, has two pieces of wood. Use less than, greater than, or equal to to compare the pieces of wood. So I'm going to compare these pieces of wood. 